and uh, I'll explain why I did that. But uh, basically, that extra six <laughs> inches is what's helping us build these terraces because there's landscaping on them, there's uh, pavers and, and such on them. And in doing so, we kind of made them a little bit bigger for marketability, but we stayed on the footprint and uh, it didn't really change um, any of the shadow that much. We have a shadow study we did that actually is only maybe six feet longer than our previous shadow. It's still complying with Capra? Yes. Well, we're not even, I have a shadow so I can show you. It's not even, we don't even make it to the middle of the street. Okay. Yeah. Um, so as you go Just to clarify one thing from Jim. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this, the red is the new? The red the is the previous building. Red is previous, <coughs> thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry, I thought I... No, that's okay, I'm sorry. Um, as you can see, the building really hasn't changed. So that's basically the changes we made going up. Um, one of the things that we did here is um, this unit, which is actually the owner's unit, is going to bring on the main ownership of this unit. On the seventh floor unit, we always had a pool, and the pool was four feet up, and the deck was four feet up, and you had to come out of the unit and then out of the roof and then walk up four feet to get to the pool. So what I did was I raised the actual roof to the extra four feet, and that <coughs> aligned it with the eighth-story roof over here. So the seventh floor and eighth floor roofs line up now, and uh, that enables us to like kind of sink the pool in. So when you walk out, it's a open yard uh, kind of feel with a, a pool that sinks down and not up and then in. So it worked out pretty well for that. And then uh, Mimi really was looking for some higher ceilings in her, in her penthouse room. So that worked out uh, pretty good for that unit. Um, and that's the our roof plan. Uh, these are the two stairs. This is the elevator tower to the roof. This is a stair from the eighth story unit has access to this roof garden, which was part of our uh, requirements as we want to make these kind of roof garden and habitable space for the units that, that own these units. So uh, we have a roof garden for the eighth story unit here and a roof garden here for the seventh floor unit, which they now all mine. And then there's a stair tower that comes up from the penthouse and out. And then this is kind of a, uh, a loggia so we get some shade on the roof instead of baking to death. So what I prepared is uh, what was approved and what is new. So I actually did rendering as well I have here. So this is our east elevation, which is looking from Ocean Avenue. So this was our <coughs> proposed building. This was what was, um, was previously approved. So you can see it actually um, doesn't really change any in the architectural style. I tried very hard to maintain this uh, South Beach style that I had working. It's all concrete and glass. Um, I actually added a little more concrete to this side of the building instead of so much glass. I thought maybe it was a little too much glass. So we have this kind of concrete banding at each of the terrace levels as you go up. And then um, this is our trellis that comes across. It's kind of my homage to the sandy boardwalk where uh, it's kind of lifted up and it runs up the building. It's, uh, it's an architectural feature that runs actually up the side of the building. As you can see from Ocean Boulevard side. So it comes across the, uh, the clubhouse and runs up the building and stops. And uh, Bill does that here. So this is our before and after. So it's not a lot of different. There's a little more punch windows here. We have this kind of uh, concrete work here, so we just kind of cleaned it up a little bit and some of these balconies were removed. So it's not, it's still, it's, I think it's a little cleaner than it was before. And uh, it's just, to me, it's just progress on a, on a design. Can I see the other one again? The uh, Ocean Avenue side? Mm -hmm. I have the, uh, the other side views also. <coughs> I'd like to see how it affects the step. On the side. Another. Uh, okay, so this is the this is the uh, north side of the building. So um, this is what was uh, proposed. This is what was what was previously approved, so they're very, very similar. The stepping is kind of the same. This is just had a little step here. Do you have that rendered? 
No, I don't have this one. I can prepare it. And then this is from the courtyard, where we cut through the courtyard. Um, and it shows the parking uh, below. And this is the terrace, and that's that walkway. And you can see how that walkway, I don't know if you remember, but I sunk it down a little bit. So it becomes this barrier between the first floor units and the pool deck. So they have a six foot landscape barrier between them and the pool deck because they're on the same level. Um, and then the, this is the terracing again, uh, right here. Sorry, the terracing. So the bottom one is the new one. This is the new one, yeah. Because it was the opposite on the other page, right? This is the previous one. These are the same two elevations. Okay. But this was now on that. I think in the colored rendering, he has the, the new one on top. And the yeah, yeah. She put that over on me. Oh, yeah. That caught me for a minute. I had to look at it. <laughs> um, the only other thing that we actually did that. Um, Who is the marketing company they use? Um, who's their marketing company? Not sure. Is it Pinnacle? Are they marketing? Pinnacle is doing the management. The management marketing? Who? Pinnacle? Pinnacle's doing the management. It's not here and I can't really answer that question. I just get my margin orders. And, um, one of the things that uh, we did do on this first level was I these units used to split in the middle and it was kind of like a split unit um, and it wasn't really settling right with the marketing people. So we leveled these floors and put steps out here to the patios on this unit, this unit, and that unit. This unit we lowered to the level of the, the, uh, the, pad, the patio below. And this unit was always down low. So with these three units that we had to get these little steps to the gardens below. And what it did was it made all the units have one level of I guess people were happy to have the transverse four, four feet halfway through the unit. So it wasn't really selling very well. But everything else is pretty much the same. Any other questions? Jimmy, you want to show them just some angles today, just quickly, show them the difference. Yeah, the, um, Nelson Engineering, we did the sun angle. He's not here, so I'm just going to show it to you. It's not on the boardwalk. It's not on the beach. It's yeah. basically I just want to look where it was. So this is the proposed. I can look at this one, <coughs> and look at this one. <coughs> the shadows are very, very similar. So I think this one just came on air closer to the center, like six feet closer to the center line of the. So it'll be at the road? Yeah, yes, not on the boardwalk. The boardwalk is another half of the road. And that was our worst case in that. Questions? Yeah, uh, you got the east elevation motion out of it? Uh, the rendered one? Yeah. Excuse me. <coughs> so the top of that north building was actually out previously. I'm sorry, what? The upper corner of that? Yes. Yeah, no, to the right. The north corner. Okay. Okay. This was always here. This line was always in the same plane. Right. Okay. That was your mean? Yeah. And actually, if you look at the plan, you can see that we actually pushed things a little further away from the town. Okay. It was really kind of uh, a geometrical exercise, uh, trying to get uh, more uh, regimented in the wall panels because the building is so complicated that uh, to do it with a little more uh, uniformity in the panelization of the concrete panels and the panelization of the glass, it just makes more sense to for constructability of this building. The um, club, the the room that was canceled, what was that, the clubhouse? It was a penthouse, clubhouse room that was on top of the roof. <coughs> How come that was canceled now? Um, Mm -hmm. They weren't comfortable with the fact that um, people would be on the second floor through the two units that were there, you know, the corridor out to it. I just, it was just, I can't really answer that. I was just told who's that you yeah. So now this is really, um, instead of being, actually what I did was I was able to raise the ceiling in the clubhouse uh, room itself that has all the manuals that opens up. Now I have a, a taller ceiling in that room, which is 
which is better for the room itself. So the bigger room is much more dramatic. And what's going to be in that room? Uh, it's a great room. There's going to be uh, like dining every like once every once So it's still there. Um, not there, were, there was two. There was two. Cleared it up, Jim, because you have your main clubhouse, and then you had an isolated one for the penthouse people. So we did reshuffle all this, and in the process, we we picked up two more guest suites for the owners. Uh, so we have actually four guest suites now. So if you're uh, if you have company coming, and you can book that room. Mm. So anybody in the condo association can they, if they're there, they can book that room and put their parents in there for the weekend. So this is on the first floor? This is, these are on the first floor. So your, your entrance is here. I kind of opened this out and created this big open view corridor up to uh, the great room. And then we added storage. And we did add this little section on top of the garage to pick up some more storage units. Um, and then we have a, a very large uh, fire department room here for sprinklers and control panels. It's a high rise building. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into that room. Um, and I'm working on maybe this little kitchen area here, kind of like a display kitchen for like some chef to come in once a month and run a cool little dinner party. Uh, and then we have a big storage room for tables and chairs. So um, it's a pretty sizable room. And then the gym is actually on the front. So Jim, the penthouse that you eliminated, what was the purpose of that? Um, that was really not the penthouse, the but the clubhouse. The clubhouse penthouse. It was, yeah, it was a penthouse because I don't have the access. I think you guys actually have the plans. I don't have them. It was right here, and there was a there was a corridor that was chopping up unit two hundred four, and it was making it very small. And you had to come out and to this level and come onto this terrace, and uh, it, was, it just got limited. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Next thing on the agenda is a uh, police memorial, uh, Director Roma. <coughs> yeah, I don't know which one. Which, but, uh, <laughs> This uh, should be pretty easy because I'm not requesting any money from you, so this should be, this should go fast. Yeah, no, that, that, that's great to start. I think we we'll have to look at all of them. There's, there's only a couple up there. Um, I was approached. There's only like three or four. I'm sorry. You want to do it, Kev? Want to get up there? Oh, no, no, okay. no. Sure, you want to? Want to like my Vanna White for me? Uh, I was approached back in the summer. I would have captured an area. <laughs> I was approached back in the summer by someone who is interested in um, redoing the police uh, men's memorial that we have outside. Um, he owns a landscaping supply business. He's originally from Long Branch. He may still live here. He's got family here. And um, the great thing about this is the people that he works with, um, they do a few of these each year. And this year they'd like to do this one. And they do it all for free. They, they pretty much do everything for you. They uh, give you all the stone and, and they do everything for you and all the, all the work for free. So we got together a few times uh, with some people and, and um, we decided the spot that we have it in now wasn't really going to work. And we wanted to look for a new spot. For it, and if you look at that picture on the left-hand side, is the ramp that walks up when you enter City Hall, and I have another picture of it, and it'd be right to the right side of that ramp. It would go in front of that kind of ugly thing we have there, of the generator there. Um, so it would go in front of there. Um, it's stone pavers. That blue line, that blue-black line, is going to be um, a five or six-foot uh, granite wall black granite wall that looks something like this. I don't think we have that picture, but it'll look something like that. It'll probably be half stone and the rest will be black granite. Um, Why don't you just pass it around? around. It'll look something like that. It's, we'd obviously put our own uh, stuff on it and we'll put the three fallen officers' names on it and in a picture. <coughs> um, 
Is it going to be just for fallen officers or for any officers? Just, just the three fallen officers that, that uh, we have. Officers that have just passed. No, right, correct. Just, just the three fallen <laughs> officers. So we move them from where they are now. We move. Um, yeah, we think about doing new, something new because yeah. I don't think they would work real well on those black uh, granite. But I, I don't know. We have to get to that point. So he came up with this. Took him a few months to get someone to come up with this plan. Um, ran it by everybody else. They're all good with it. Just want to make sure you guys are good with it. There's, uh, there's probably another picture up there, Mr. Woolley. We can uh, Not here. show. So the only thing that he wanted to add that would not be that would not be paid for. That's where it would go. Right there. I want to just say that. No, so it would go right there in front of that. Um, about 20 by 20 for the actual bricks, and probably might need 30 by 30 when you put in all the trees. And um, there's going to be uh, flagpoles in the back, three, three flagpoles in the back, and some uh, uh, lighting to light everything up. And the only thing that is not uh, paid for that he wants to do is, if you pull up something else, is a sculpture as a bronze sculpture um, and that would go in that middle area there so I talked to the uh, PBA and they are willing to raise the money for that to do that and to buy the bronze sculpture so it probably wouldn't go up at the same time we, we would do the uh, rest of it first because he could get started pretty soon as long as weather stays nice and then they would raise the money probably over the next year to get a bronze sculpture we, we don't know which one we're going to get yet we haven't decided but that's the guy that uh we would like to do it um is from around here he went to uh Monmouth University and he's done some other work in the area so um we so spoke to him Hanlon Hanlon so he uh, we spoke to him about it and he's very very interested uh, because he knows the area obviously so he would like to do it for us um we just have to decide what we're going to do there we haven't really gotten to that point we just want to cure okay to be able to use the land and to kind of move forward with uh, the plans. Has there been anything about doing a combined fire department and police department? Uh, I didn't. Um, I think they, they have a fallen officer bronze helmet in one of the parks somewhere, the fire department, I believe. No, fire department is Elbron. Elbron, yeah. Elbron. They have oh, okay. a, uh, and I think they have a bronze helmet, right? That was made, might have been made by this guy. I think I'm... I'm not sure. It might have been made by the same guy. Yeah, the nice so. park Yeah, I know the park is. I just right. Okay. So Jay, who's the gentleman who, who's doing this? Joe Jambrone. Joe Jambrone. He owns. He owns uh, VNS Landscape Supply. Mm -hmm. And uh, EP Henry are the people that I guess he gets his landscape papers from, and they do this thing called a. Heroscape, and, and I guess they do a couple of them throughout the year. So he got with them and wanted to be able to do it here, and you know. So he just sort of initiated this. He initiated when he idea. saw what we had here, and uh, you know he he's from around here. He's been here his whole life. I think his family's been here, and you know he wanted to be able to do this for us. So he's very into it, very excited to come and do it, and and he put all this together so far. He put all the plans and the work and, and, and all this stuff together so far. So. And uh, you know, I think it's a great idea. Everybody, obviously, who I've uh, shown it to loves it. All the guys mm -hmm. love, love the idea. So, Everybody okay with it? Yes. Yeah. Good. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Willie, boardwalk update? Yes. Ms. Lemiliasio was on vacation. Okay. So I will have to uh, try and fill his shoes, which is impossible. But uh, we've uh, got a little more paving done. Uh, ran into a couple issues with some concrete under the pavement, but I think we're addressing that uh, in the roadway. The old roadway was concrete. And we've got to get that stabilized so that we don't lose a new roadway. They're, they're moving right along with the decking. I think they're up close to a million now. Uh, rail is going right with it. They're, they're closing in the uh, North Bath Comfort Station. I was down there yesterday. Uh, we did have one little hiccup. We had a little vandalism over the weekend. Uh, sometime during the evening, I think it was Sunday night, we think, right, Jason? Yes. Uh, somebody found a couple of cans of paint down there, which they threw on the decking. Fortunately, it was able to be cleaned off by arms first thing in the morning when they found it. 
uh, and they had taken some railing that was in the process of being bolted and was just you know in place and with set screws and kind of knocked that over but the railing wasn't damaged and we secured the railing so everything's in place we put uh, we mentioned that on the uh, on social media and I know a couple of the online publications picked up on it and what we encourage anybody to do is if they see anything of that nature to please contact the police at 1000 and let us know and if anybody has any information uh, as to who these uh, uh, yeah. people were, uh, we would appreciate it so that we can uh, we can apprehend them and prosecute them to the full extent of the law. It's a shame, that, you know, that there's always a couple of knuckleheads, uh, <coughs> but you know they're always going to be. So uh, fortunately. This time everything worked out well, and uh, we got that taken care of. Any Two questions? And police department. Any so, questions? So we're going along well with for So the weather holds. They love it. Yeah. No questions? Okay, thank you. Uh, review of the regular meeting agenda. I have uh, one, just a, a note of item in resolution <laughs> 300 dash. 15, which is the resolution uh, appointing Dr. Smith the attachment for the purse service items was the incorrect one. It was for Red Bank Veterinary Hospital, where it should have been for Law Branch Animal Hospital. That will be corrected, and uh, the resolution will be submitted that way. Michael, any questions on the agenda? No. John? No. Nope. Joy? No, you actually answered mine. <laughs> Okay, I need a motion to close. All in favor? Aye. I need a motion to adopt a resolution to go into executive session for the following items. Litigation, Kelly, Mr. Beckelman, LB Partners, Mr. Aaron, Contract Negotiations, Pier Village, Mr. Woolley, FBM, Mr. Beckelman, Personnel Matters, Health Department. <coughs> 